Increase the efficacy of your copper spray in the fight against bacterial blight with Antero EA. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine, reporting to you here today with Heather Andrews from Oregon State University. Met with her to talk about uh, trunk guards versus painting tree trunks. Uh, you know, with, with all these new hazelnut trees coming in, there's, there's several options and there's some pros and cons to both. So I wanted to talk to Heather about her thoughts on the matter. So with all these new hazelnut plantings going in, a lot of growers, they want to try and protect their new trees. And some of the times they will paint the trunks of their trees to help prevent sun scald. But then some growers opt to go with trunk guards because this can help protect the tree from the sun scald. And then it can also help protect against herbicide sprays, especially when the growers go through and they spray for suckers. They're several different problems that are associated with the trunk guards. For one, you can have suckers that start to grow up inside of the trunk guard and so then even after you go through and spray for suckers, you might have to come back through and prune these out manually. Also, if you have the suckers growing up inside of the trunk guard, this creates a warm, moist environment which is perfect for different diseases. The other thing that can happen with trunk guards is when it gets windy, they can rub against the trunk of the tree, and so this can open up wounds, which are perfect entry points for diseases and also other pests such as the Pacific flat-headed borer really like attacking trees at this entry point. So there are some good and bad factors that are associated with trunk guards. Some of the trunk guards are also advertised as being helpful in speeding up the growth of trees. And so we're actually doing a research study out at the North Willamette Station where we're testing out several different styles of trunk guards. And we've been monitoring temperature, humidity, also light levels, and then at the end of the season, we'll go through and start measuring the growth of the trees. And then next year, we will start taking these trunk guards off and then evaluating different aspects of the tree growth, sucker development, and then also looking at hardening off of the bark. So far this year, we found that the clear peach and blue trunk guards do have much hotter temperatures inside the tubes compared with our untreated trees. So that's just something to keep in mind if you do decide to use some of these trunk guards is that they might be really elevating the temperature right around that trunk where you could potentially, if the air temperature gets hot enough, you could kill off your tree. Thank you, Heather. Read more about hazelnut management practices in the Hazelnut Tasks column in our monthly publication of Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. If you don't currently receive it, you can subscribe for free today. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.